Greetings gamers, streamers, and off-worlders. It's great to see you again. The Witches Festival is over and I'm really sad about that, but I had a lot of fun doing what I could and um, we haven't worked on the main story for quite some time. So I wanted to recap. Uh, we left off the main story after we investigated the three locations that we needed to collect clues at for Lord Vivek because uh, his power was being drained and we found out who was the cause for his power drain. His name was Chodala. So he was behind Lord of the X power drain and um, to continue that story we have to go back to Barlzar's tower. So that's what we're going to start off that. I'm going to start start off the main quest there. So I'm at level 22 now and it is really fun getting there and with that little XP boost from the Witches Festival it certainly um, helped me out a lot. So I feel like I'm more prepared for the main story and not messing anything up and um, yeah because we've gotten a lot of skill points since then and I added them to my character to help her out in many areas and um, yeah the realizing that there's sky shards in the delves was also really helpful and cool so now I want to like keep an eye out for delves when I'm like not working on the main story and the beverage of choice today is mint tea loose leaf Moroccan mint which is still too hot to drink okay and once again we find ourselves in Vivek because this is kind of where I always come back to to dump all my stuff and organize everything even though there are other places I can do that too okay. getting turned around here I'm gonna go to Barlzar's tower so let me put that on There it is. So we have a way shrine close there. So we're just gonna fast travel. Let me just put this as my main quest. That's not, that's something else. There we go. Return to Barlzar's tower. Let's see. Is that it? Balzar's tower right there. No, nope. <laughs> in the wrong direction. Okay, this way. Ah, it's a sunny day in Vardenfell. What's? Oh. Okay, we went there. We in the right direction? No. I have a horse. We're gonna have, have our horse friend help us out. And I like increased my horse, like apparently every day you can add more stats to your horse, I guess like more speed and stuff, which is yeah. nice. You can only do that once a day and it's like 250, at least it was 250 when I did it. I don't know if that changes depending on how much money you have. at the tower. Cool. It, it is a beautiful day here. Here we are. Find Barl's are. Um, I hope that doesn't mean he's like lost or something. do this thing, but before you do this thing, you have to do this thing.
Is oh. someone up there? Hello? I could use some help down here. Down. Okay. Coming. Hurry, please. I have a natural aversion to date. Oh, 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 oh. I see. No, no, this is fine. I like helping. Oh, oh no, it wasn't fast enough. Yeah, stay down. No. Stay down. Down. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if I can handle this. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh god. It was a beautiful day. Woo! Interrupt, interrupt. I don't know if I can win against this guy. Oh. Why is my double tap not working? It's eating me! <laughs> interrupt, interrupt, interrupt! I'm holding, I'm pressing and I'm holding. Oh. Well, I'm not fast enough. Pressing and holding, pressing and holding. It's not working, it's not working. Oh. Okay, looks like I might be able to handle this. Maybe, oh God. I feel like my key strokes are like not working so well. Oh, come on. I'm like double tapping my keys, but it's not working as much. Oh, well, shield doesn't really work, does it? I'm pressing it. Wow, that was horrible. Wipe your feet and come inside. For some reason I feel like my keys were just like not on my side. I'm gonna read some books to calm down. Over here. Hey, hey, a copper. Hello. Okay. Right. There's a lot of stuff on the table. Right. Well. What a good start. <laughs> what is this? Let's use that. 
Cool. Um, let's eat something. Here, have something. Good. Good for you. A little something that might help us out. In case we get attacked by another hunger. Thanks for warning me. What's up? It's so hard to concentrate and maintain schedules when interruptions constantly occur. Don't they know the great gear never pauses in its rotations? So that was you up there. I appreciate the assistance. Daedric entities can be very unpredictable. Uh, why were Daedra attacking you, Barlzar? Logic has very little place in the behavior of Daedra, my hopeful associate. Studying the fabric of reality does tend to attract unwanted attention. But these creatures appeared just before you entered my tower. I wonder, why have you returned? Are you trying to say this has something to do with me? I located Sothisil's tool, but it's been altered to steal Lord Vivek's divine energy. Ah, a modification of my master's old experiments. Turning a simple tool into a dangerous weapon. Ingenious! Evil, yes, but also quite brilliant. Hmm. A tonal inverter should come for it. it. Uses sound waves to temporarily disrupt the flow of energy. Do you have a tonal inverter I can use? No, of course not. I just invented it. Of course not. I need proper components to build such a device. Oh. My hirelings scour the land for materials all the time. Here's a list. Head out the back door and ask them to direct you to these common dwarven components. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What's around here? Let's look at stuff. I can take these and it's not stealing. Cool. Oh, hello. Curious little dark elf. Likes to look in things. Curious little dark elf. Likes to stick her nose where it doesn't belong. And mine. Okay. Meh. Knowledge is mine. What is... what? Is that something? Okay. Okay. Not big on provisioning. So, let's just look over here. Anything interesting? In the cupboard. Of course there would be food in the cupboard. Let's see. Cupboard. Cupboard. More books. Books. And, uh, okay. I'm coming too. One of these days I'll play with people. One of these days when I like people. What? Talk to Snorfin. You told me to go out the back and I'm all the way over here. That's kind of dumb. Are you confused too? I guess I can walk. How long is it gonna take me to walk? Am I that lazy? Yeah, it's 94, it's almost like 100 gold. I should just take in the scenery with my horse. Alright, 
assume we're almost at the first um, hireling. Just around the corner. It's probably gonna tell us to go somewhere else. Oh, thanks for coming all this way. Now go back. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's, a, it's cool. It's nice. It's a nice day for a swim. For my dark elf. Thank you. Norfin. I feel like such a puny snowback hiding here in Molagmar. But you don't want to hear about my troubles. What can this broken Nord do for you? This broken Nord? Oh my gosh. Barhazar sent me to talk to you. He said he, he, that you could help me find the items on the list. Barhazar. Barrels He's are. the reason I'm a shattered man, doomed to become a cowering sheep like the oh, rest of us Oh, you poor, Pilgrims. poor man. Uh, all right, let me see that. Hmm. Arkenthum Sturdoms. You can find a Sonnet's generator there, after you deal with the steam trap. Uh, what's that about a steam trap? The cursed contraption. I almost had it figured out when a ghost floated up to me. No problem, I think. But then it enters a centurion. Ghost machines. No sane Nord can fight ghost machines. I dropped my notes and ran as fast as I could. You left your notes? In our... Because of a few ghosts? Not just ghosts. Ghosts that possess dwarven machines. Oh. I'm through working for that crazy old mage and his clockwork monstrosities. Mm. But if you want to get past the steam trap, find my notes and follow the directions. I had to deal with a hunger randomly today, so I don't want to hear your excuses. Pristine water? <gasps> Makes level 20. This is the first time I've seen that. Oh, because I'm 20 now. 22? Level 22? Okay. There's another dude over here. Let's talk to them. If you're another pilgrim looking for charity, I suggest you move along. I have neither the time to waste nor the gold to spare. I'm currently between employment and my own funds have become dangerously depleted. Barrelzar sent me to talk to you. I need to find the items on the list. Let me see that. What's that crazy mage need this time? Hmm. I suppose you could find a manual clockwork shaft in the Nichu left ruins. But I'd avoid that place if I were you. If the roof doesn't collapse, the constructs will rip you apart. <laughs> Barrels are needs to build something important, so tell me how to find the manual clockwork shaft. If you insist. I insist. Deep in the ruins churns a big machine. When I was there, it sputtered and vibrated, collapsing parts of the ceiling. Lava and rock fell everywhere. You need to get past that and some nasty constructs to retrieve the item. Why don't you work for Barrels are anymore? Mage is a menace. Oh, he always paid well, but the places he asked me to go, each was more dangerous than the last. And if I had to hear about the great gear one more time, for my own health and sanity, I had to break ties with Barrels are. It's important to put yourself first in these situations. But I want some gold and some XP, please. Okay, where am I going next? Uh, down there. Right. Wait. Excuse me? No. I'm right here. Talk to another person? Where is this other person? Uh, uh. Are they in there? They're up there somewhere. What is it? Aha. Yeah, I found you. I found you. Oh, I like this music. Damned vampires! 
vampires. Find a way to make them pay for what they did to my brother. I swear it on the tribunal and any date were willing enough to listen. What do you want? Can't you leave a person to her anger and her grief? Uh, Barazar... Barazar said, you could help me locate the items on the list. He did, did he? Let me see that list. Hmm. Well, the crazy old maid always said there were no coincidences. The inversion conduit. I saw one in Gloom Deus. Right before I barely escaped from those damned vampires. <laughs> Tell me about those vampires. Eager to become cattle for the bloodsuckers? The burn clan killed my brother. Will I turn into a vampire? The item you see is in the manufacturing. But you'll need a control rod to get a dwarven spider to unlock it for you. Why did you stop working with Barlzar? Because the mage wanted to send me to the far side Barlzar. of Vardenfell, and I need to remain here. I'm not going anywhere until I make the Burn Clan pay for what it did to my brother. Alright. I kill some of the bastards, that'll be a start. I will kill some of the bastards. What are you? By the sword, I mean the night. By the word, I mean the day. It's important to look around because you never know if there might be some, like, lore books somewhere here's another bookcase i'm just gonna make a habit to whenever i go in oh oh my gosh guess what we have here it's not it's not a lore book but it's a book and it could have given me something useful you never know all right well I'll probably good going out this way. Bit. So is it gonna tell me where to go first, or do I have to go back to Barl's or something? What's over here? All right, there's a couple places we can go. Do I want to deal with the vampires first, or? Which one's closer? Well, we can go here, and that's pretty close. There's a close one over here, and where's the other one? That we talked to them about. There it is. All the way over there. Um, let's see. Ghosts that inhabit machinery, vampires, or... I don't remember what this one was. Um... Oh, let's let's go here. I'd rather take vampires than another hunger. Not that we have another hunger in our future, but we might, because that that last one wasn't expected. And man, it was hard. It was hard. I remember the first time I got killed by hunger. It was embarrassing. Ah, uh, reminds me of Vulcan. For any Star Trek fans listening out there. Remember when uh, T'Pol brought Captain Tucker to uh, Blessed Thistle? Yes! Remember when um, T'Pol brought Captain Tucker to Vulcan and they gazed out, gazed out onto the uh, beautiful volcanic fields? I'm already lost. See what happens when I get distracted. Of course. Oh, can't summon my horse.
recipe. Yes, give me the recipes, the knowledge. We can go on to the, oh, not do that. There we go. Now we're like on the path, the official path. Take your time going past the nest to teal. Look around, because you never know. That looks interesting. Oh, that must be the big bad boy that I gotta deal with at some point. I've been in a couple of these uh, little dwarven ruins before, very interesting. I like the mythology behind all the races. Dark elves, high elves, dwarves. I very much believe that there's some truth to them. That at some point there were people or entities that existed in such ways, in such life forms. Like lots of awesome things to read. How did I like miss that first shot? These aren't vampires, these are just some plants. I gotta find these notes. Oh! Woof! Meow. So thirsty, hold on. Ooh, you got me in a sound of thorn trap.
Is there something over there that is of interest of me? To me? I'm curious. Oh, hey guys. Did I help you? You're welcome. See ya. I don't know, that box looked like it was gonna be cool or something, but uh, I don't see anything around here that is of interest to me now. Really? Nothing? Just people? What about over here? Am I gonna be disappointed again? I might not be able to sleep at night unless I try. Ooh, you. Down. I didn't see you there. I would have slashed through you. If that were possible. We got some pristine water, which I find very valuable right now, just because uh, today is the first time that I've seen it. Nothing? Okay, that's cool. But at least I can sleep at night. Yo. I'm here. What are you? Should I kill you? It is a dwarven centurion. Um. No nuts. Nothing there. Found his notes. I'm curious about you. More recipes for me. Eh. Well, oh, dear Lord, where did you come from? more people over there. That must be for like some other quest or something because like it looks like saving them is helping me. What is that? Hmm. I wonder if it's a sky shard. You don't look like you have anything interesting over this there. Spider won't give me its treasure, dear brother. Allow me my sister. Oh. Uh. Cool. It's over here. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. Ugh. Just stand in one place and let me beat you. Use the control rod on spiders. And inversion conduit. Yoink. Alrighty. We did the things. Looks like that's all the things. is doing the crip walk or something. The dwarven, the dwarven shuffle. Okay. The dwarven strut, I like that better. Hey, come to me. There's the exit. Bloop. Cool, we did the one thing. Do -do -do. And all the way up here, the to left component. Fly. the right way this time. 
somewhere this way. Sometimes there's good stuff over here. when there's a cart there's stuff. I saw this. Ugh. Okay. And... This way. And there's a delve nearby. Should we go in the delve? I'm tempted. What's nice? Who are you? An exile enchanter? Is there something over there that is guarding? Like something cool? Like a, a chest? Or some water? Uh. And wait, no. Yes! Oh, it is a delve! <gasps> cool! Oh my gosh, what a joy! Part of the, the quest is going into a delve. I'm so happy. Because there's a sky shard in delves. Pretty blue light. Left to the right. This way. Okay, isn't there a bad guy over here? No? What? This? What? There's nothing over here. There's no way. Must be this way. Oh, and I didn't block half now. Ice Cube. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> We're just hanging out in a delve right now. Part of the main quest. <laughs> yeah. We are currently trying to find a component. The main quest. Uh, for barrels for barrels are his tower what? what's over there nothing's over there that I have to have but I'm a curious little dark elf Okay. 
I normally play, I normally like to play like all magic, but for the first time in my life with this character, I just, I really enjoy this having a sword. I just feel more, I don't know, stronger. Like I can finally tank for the first time in my life. Okay. This looks like where we gotta go next. I'm just trying to, like, make sure I get everything. Because there's a sky shard in here somewhere. Oh, what a spacious place. I probably don't want to fall down there. So let's avoid that. Big boy. Big boy. Oh, they're on both sides. See. Which way? Uh, we gotta go that way. Wait. Okay. It looks like it just dropped off there. that you can predict when they're going to hit you. Ah! Oh my god, I almost rolled off the side. That would have been bad. Please no unnecessary death today. We're doing so well right now. Taken in the scenery. This is just what we've been doing the whole time. Plowing through all these all these bad guys. And we have another centurion over there. It'll take me forever to kill. Go going this way. We found the sky shard. There it is. Yeah. All right. Am I gonna have to drop? Is there a way? It looks like there's a way to get down there, so. Can I go around? point gained. Oh, oh, did I get it? Do I have a go point now? Yeah, that gave me a full one. Hooray. 
take care of that later. Somewhere that way, cool. I'm curious about what's over here though. Kinda jumped. Oh, around? All right. Yeah, all right. Been around, cause you never know. There could just be a random lore book hanging out. I found them in the weirdest tucked away places. That you're like, why would somebody come this way? And there's like a book. Somebody has been that way. Hmm. This is quite a large ruin. I haven't been in, I've been in a few like dwarven ruins, but never this big. And we went around in circles. What's over there? What's that? What is that? It's glowing? What? I came all the way over here because I saw something glowing, but there's nothing over here. What is that? Okay, it looks like I went the long way, but I managed to get there anyways. Here we go. That's why they put that there. They're like, people that... People that like to go the long way are gonna find their way this way, and um, we're just gonna put this little glowy light here for those people. Like, hey. ah. We're on our way to success and greatness. Yoink, yoink. Going the right way. Nuh-uh. Where did it bring me this way? The two, you're not paying attention. Didn't it tell me to go through here though, this door? It totally did. Oh my god, it told me to go through here. Okay. Oh. We need to go there though. So, don't fall in the lava. Uh, where is this? Okay, it looks like we gotta go upstairs. Cause I'm not seeing a way to greatness down here. Right. So there's the stairs. Let's go back up. I guess the only thing of importance down here was a sky shard. Which we got. Success is ours. And to the right. Hello! Gotcha! We got... We got the shaft, everybody. <laughs> the shaft has been collected. Y'all knew I could do it. Oh my god. Minecraft has nothing on ESO. Oh my god, run! I don't wanna stop to fight every single one on the way back. Especially him. Oh my gosh. No. Go faster, Datil. Where's all your stamina? Follow her. She knows where she's going. Oh god. No, no, no. No, no, no.
Thanks for looking out. <laughs> we managed to avoid that. Yeah, go follow her. Yeah, everybody go. Probably this way. I'll help. We're in this together. Yeah, yeah. Helping people out. Oh my. Did somebody come after me at the at that last point? Oh. Alright. We only have one more component left. Oh hey. Let's avoid that person. Because we know we can beat him. We know. We're good. Uh, you still following me? You're gonna get it now. Yeah, run. That feels good. Oh, I didn't finish it, though. I, there must have been, like, a, a, a big bad boss somewhere in there that I needed to get. I don't want to go back right now, though. We'll... We'll delve hunt another time. So the last one is all the way over here. Thankfully, we got a little way shrine to get us most of the way faster. I'm gonna go up. Through all the windiness. For the 80th time, help is on the way. I've received assurances from House Redoran. They will handle this trouble. Windy, windy paths. Go, go to this, this way. For the 80th time, this help way. is on the way. I've received assurances from House Redoran. They will handle this trouble. Ahead. All right. My goodness. All right, we're just gonna ditch them. What? You? Okay, no. I'm pretty sure I got that one already. Up there. Okay. We must climb. Go to Teal. Show everybody how you climb the things. We've got buns of steel. Alright. Yeah, go the long way around. We all know this is how you do things. Yeah, no, I meant to go this way because you never know what you might find over here. Mud crabs, a, a near root. There are things. Look, we found some high iron ore. We might need that for crafting the things. Um, yep. Survey of the random place underneath this structure has been completed. And we found a backpack with some tomatoes. Okay. Jump. <laughs> Alright, now how do we, how are we gonna get up there? Look a road. The teal likes to go the scenic route. Ugh. I'm gonna need to put more points in stamina. The teal's getting winded. All right, That's a, a nice little look around. This is the last place we gotta go to get the component. <laughs> oh, there's the notes. Snorfin's notes. Okay, but we still gotta get the component. Look around for teams. Oh. So we 
right here. You know, they have a bunch of these cool little trinkets scattered everywhere. It makes a curious little dark elf like me really curious and wanting to try to pick something up, but there's nothing to pick up, so. Teasing me. together friend let's blow through this see a whole lot in here except for a bunch of dead people and nothing to loot looks like we got to go that way oh. egg me. <laughs> it sounded like you said egg me <laughs> egg me oh hello gotta go this way, yeah. Looks like my friend left, though. This way? Hmm? Yeah. Mind power needed for that. Dee Dee from Dexter's lab can press a button. Alright. Give, give barrels are the components, okay. away. All of you go away. I know I'm gonna have to fight some of you at some point. Almost there. Alright, who's following me? Go away. Too far. Yay. Let us go to back to Barrels are not close. All right, take my money. Make sure you're drinking water, everybody. Water is very important to hydrate the body. This is tea, but nonetheless, liquids. I have water over here too. Let's go the right way this time, to teal. Okay. I gotta check my map my map like a dozen times. Cause I can't look at this little bar up here. It's over here. See this 
is why I get distracted. I see something. Oh, oh, I know we already found that. I just wanted to see what was in the sack. I'll just keep running and just being like, yeah, what are we doing again? There's just so many wonderful things to do in this game. Oh. Hello. Have you only just arrived or is this you returning? Can't Are you back? Keep the cogs and pistons in line. Ah, I remember the components for the terminal inverter. Were you able to acquire them? Yes, I recovered the sonnets generator, the inversion conduit, and the manual clock work shafts. Impressive. I thought I'd never see you again. That's what usually happens when I employ hirelings to acquire rare and exotic items from dangerous locations. Well, if the great gear doesn't dawdle, neither do I. Hand them over and I'll get to work. All right, here are the items you requested. One tonal inverter coming up. Connect this, tighten the spring. Don't explode. Don't explode. Almost done. Yeah. There. Phew, got Phew. it right. The Good job. Got it. You like it? My latest creation. I love it. I call it the tonal inverter. Did I mention that already? No matter. It should counteract Sofa Seal's modified staff, at least momentarily. Mm. I assume you know how to use this, correct? No, I don't know how to use the tonal inverter. Of course you don't. I just invented it. Honestly. You won't use it anyway, not if you plan to fight the one who wields Sofa Seal's staff. Almost impossible to operate the tonal inverter while also engaged in battle. It's too cumbersome. So, how do I use it to counteract the Sunara? The Sunara? The Blessed Sunara. Staff? I suppose the name fits. Sort of. You'll need someone to assist you. Someone you trust. Oh, not me. Too busy. Too fragile. But using the tonal inverter is definitely a two-person activity. I need a partner. Is it hard to use? Easy as scrib jelly pie. One person operates the controls to generate the sound waves. When it reaches the proper pitch, you activate the inverter and discharge its energy to disrupt Sunara's power. Temporarily. Here, I read you. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, let's go back to Arch Cannon Tarbus. He's gonna be over there, and I still haven't gotten the way shrine. My goodness, I really don't have that much money. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of money right now. So we're gonna have to walk. Spend all my cash that I don't have when I should be spending it to upgrade my horse, my mount to go faster. Poor little the teals buns. Swim the teal. At least it's not too far away. The upside of my wandering uh, intentions. I just kind of wander around and just find stuff. And I help myself out, although I still haven't found the way shrine that apparently is near the palace. 
There's, I know there's one over there. I don't have to go, you know. I can help clean things up around here. I know how to keep a low profile. This isn't up for debate. That sounds like Vea, but I know it's not. Okay. Let's let's like hit the way shine. Okay, well there's Arch Cannon. Yeah, we might have to go up there anyways. We'll see what he says first. Your presence defiles the city, Ashlander. How dare you demand to see our god? I'm here to help. If you won't listen to me, listen to the Outlander. Thank oh. the three. What what the I'm over here. <laughs> Was Battle's Hour able to help us? Pay no attention to this Ashlander. She's been blathering on about Lord Vivek's condition and how she can help. But I'm certain it's a trick of some sort. I was just about to have her thrown out of the city. Or possibly tossed to the slaughterfish. No, that's Serene, Chodala's sister. She helped me in Aldrun. I know who she is. I still don't trust her. And I refuse to let her anywhere near Lord Vivek. Who knows what an Ashlander would do while the warrior poet is in such a fragile state. Mm, I need her help. It's going to take two of us to operate Barlzar's tonal inverter. A tonal what now? Well, since I can't go with you, or with Lord Vivek requiring my undivided attention, I suppose we'll have to let the Ashlander assist you. Very well. Take her and defeat Chodala, and bring me a staff so we can restore Vivek. Sunara will soon be in our hands. That's funny. Okay. Hey, I'm right here. You don't have to walk that way. If that old idiot is what passes for a tribunal leader, it's no wonder the houses are in such disarray. No time to dwell on that, though. I found my brother, and it's worse than I feared. Chodala's quest for power has led him down a dark path. What do you mean a dark path? Chodala and his most loyal followers have taken refuge in a ruin called Kaush Terari. It's an ancient shrine devoted to the Daedric Prince Malakath. I think my brother plans to ask the God of Curses to help him. I've got a device that will counter, counter Sunara, but I need your help to use it. It will allow us to stop Chodala? Then of course I'll help you. Since the Tribunal's dogs took my weapons, I'll need to replace them. Meet me at the ruins when you're ready. Mm, I'll see you at... Haustari... Haustari... Here we go. What's up here? No, I know what's up there. I've been there before. Okay. Cool. Let me go find the way shrine real quick. Wait, where are you, way shrine? Is it inside? Is it up here? Nay. Aha! I found you! Woo! Okay. Oh, since we're here. Um, where we gotta go now? There it is. And we got a way shine. Pretty close. some things. We're gonna accomplish things today. And I believe over here. Hmm. I'm distracted by all the pretty colors. March on through your bloody I like the music in this game. The little folk music. They're good, we're going the right way. We don't have to backtrack. If I keep this up. Woo! And just like that, we are here at the place of interest. Hello! 
Here we are, on the Furious One's bloody doorstep, preparing to enter Daedric Ruin to try to stop my brother's march toward power. I hope that device you mentioned really can counter the invulnerability granted by the staff sooner or Mm -hmm. Take this, it's a tonal inverter. It should disrupt the staff's power for a short amount of time. Well, that's larger than I expected, but it looks simple enough to operate. <laughs> Anyone it's knows. better that I work the device. I'm not sure I'm capable of attacking Chodala. He's still my brother, no matter how dangerous his beliefs have become. Take a look at these instructions. They explain how to use the tonal inverter. I'll help you counter the effects of Sunara. Maybe once we neutralize it. Chodala will listen to reason. I know that's probably just wishful thinking. I'll settle for finding out who tempted Chodala with that dumb stuff. Maybe you can clarify a few points before we head inside. Go ahead. Ask your questions. Then head into the ruins. I'll be right behind you. Hmm. Uh, why would Chodala seek refuge in a Daedric shrine? The tribes rejected him. Azura set her face against him. Now Chodala is seeking aid wherever he can find it. That makes him more desperate than I imagined, and more dangerous. Why he decided to solicit Malakath, the god of curses, I have no idea. Alright, let us go inside. Kaushtarari. <laughs> what are you? They've been slaughtered. A bag of water. Chodala, he's gone mad. Sought to make a deal with a Daedric prince. What happened here? Chodala appealed to Malakath, but the god of curses rebuked him. He killed us all. Said Chodala already served another. Oh, where can we find Chodala? He went deeper into the ruins. It's a Malakath shrine. Looks like that's where we're going. This way? Just looking around. Looking around. Here's your little dark elf. I'm gonna handle you first. Yeah. Hey. These creatures, they don't belong to Malakath. Another prince's power is at work here. You dare me, Malakath. Oh, books. I am the brother, stop this madness! Yeah, stop! You bring this outlander to kill me, sister! You can't harm oh. me! I have a powerful patron on my side! The staff protects this is it. him. Gonna... We can't hurt him until we use the tonal inverter. I need a moment to get this working. Yeah, take your time! What is that? No matter. You are no longer worth my time. Scarfin! They sell Ooh. the Prince of Bargains! Keep them busy while I finish this. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. 
not waste any time with these. <laughs> the tonal inverter is ready. Stand in the field and focus the wave. Protective shield! What have you done? I'll destroy all of you for this! Thank God. Just as you commanded. Sorry about your brother. He's kind of a dick. That was harder than I expected. Chodala was so angry, so full of rage, not like himself at all. Still, I can't believe I helped kill my own brother. Hmm. We did what was necessary. I know that. Hmm. It was either Chodala or the lives of hundreds of Dunmer. All because he convinced himself he was the Nerevarian. Or someone convinced him. Either way, my brother is dead, and the cavern of the Incarnate has another resident. Yeah. Take Sunara, and I'll meet you back in Vivek City. Your arch cannon made it quite clear that the staff was the key to saving Vivek. I need to take care of my brother's remains. And we'll be done here. Yeah, I'm sorry about your brother. People's family, people's families just keep dying in this game. Excuse me. Let's make our way out of this little hole. Back to Vivek. Lots of running around during main quests. Although I liked the beginning when we had to go to those three different places to find those parts. And then we ran our, into a delve, that was nice. And, check it out. We got the way shine by the temple now. Yeah, yeah. on the other side? It's on the other side. No? Oh, all the way to the palace? Yeah, I thought I had to go back to the Arch Cannon's office. I need to install an escalator or something. Seem nervous today. Who is that again? They're a buoyant armager for the deck's sake. I've never been down here before. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yes. Oh, what is that? Is that a war book? No, guess not. I'm for educating myself. Oops. No more books? Come on, he's like the warrior poet. There should be lots of books. This is a nice little party space. This is his room? Oh my gosh. 
You don't look so good. Oh, this is terrible. Lord Vivek collapsed. Tell me, Outlander, were you able to defeat Chodalong? Have you brought me a staff? I'm afraid Lord Vivek may not last much longer. Well, we defeated Chodala and brought back Sunara. And just in time. According to my calculations, with every use of Sunara, Chodala drained more energy from Lord Vivek. It almost killed him. We can use the staff to save Vivek. Just plant it in the floor, and the power will return to him. I'll plant Sunara in the floor, and it'll return Vivek's power to him. Uh, which floor? Right here. Okay. <laughs> this fancy little thing specifically to plant the staff. What are you doing? It's killing him! <gasps> what did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. What? I've powered up the total inverter. Activate the wave! Oh my goodness! Oh. Barbus, I never liked you. How dare you? You're too late. I see it now in Blockwork City. Look at what Barbus found for you, Master. You son of a mud crab. You get back here, you coward. No, no. The Vic. I knew something was wrong as soon as I approached the palace. I could feel it in my bones. I was on my way here when Azura showed me a vision. I saw Sunara killing Vivek. Even without Chodala, that damn staff is dangerous. The Archcanon seemed to know that Sunara wasn't going to help Lord Vivek. I don't think that thing was ever the Archcanon. It called itself Barbus. As an Ashlander, I'm more familiar with Daedric lore than most of the elves of the Great Houses. Beyond that, I've made a study of the most prominent Daedric princes. Why are the Daedra relevant to all this? Because Barbus is a loyal servant of the Daedric prince, Clavicus Vile. I'm not an expert on the Prince of Bargains, but it seems to me that this was all part of some grand plan. Perhaps Vivek can explain things better than I can. Yes, let's let him speak for himself in his ghostly form. Shura's champion is correct. That was Barbus, faithful hound of Clavicus Vile, the shapeshifter. He killed the Arch Cannon, took his place. Chodala sought the seal's device, impersonating Tarvus. It was all part of some elaborate plan. Uh, they tried to kill you. That was simply a consequence. Oh. We needed tribunal energy to locate the Clockwork City. I was the easiest target. If Barbus enters Sotha Seal City, disaster will follow. I appreciate your help, but I must conserve what remains of my energy. Oh man. Um He's wearing a bunch more armor than he is in his ghostly form. Did your armor not die with you? Because your loincloth did. Okay. That it? Obtain Benir Rathan's What? What happened? The main quest not not active anymore. Oh. Who are you? What happened here? Where's the arch cannon? Uh... Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's Archcanon Tarvus? He always seems to know what to do in situations like this. Mm, Archcanon is really Barbus. He tricked all of us, and now Vivek's energy is nearly depleted. Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Wait, wait, I, d I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the moonlit... Red Mountain... My gods! All of Vardenfell's in danger. There must be something we can do. If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy. Wait. That's it. A blessing stone. 
Find the Overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. Oh, please, hurry. I've never seen Lord Vivek in such a desperate state. Okay, I'll see about this blessing stone. I expect the Overseers near the unfinished cantons, watching out for looters. When people panic, they're capable of anything. And with all the chaos going on outside, the Overseer closed the construction site. Get hmm. her key and bring... Oh. Get that key. Wait. Huh. This way, I suppose. What is that? What is that? What's going on? Hello? That sounded terrible. Should I go back and check on them? That sounded like a meteorite. Oh, it's moving! Uh... Uh, what the Lord fuck? Vivek, save us. Uh... Oh, God. I need an adult. I'm glad you guys are so calm. This is incredible animation, especially when you're playing with a bunch of other people and some people are just standing around. Yeah, where is this guy? You won't hurt me, will you? Shiranos, where are you? Hello? It's too dangerous. Get out of there! Oh, there you are. My wife decides to run out and chase some damned looters in the middle of a disaster. Who does that sort of thing? I think Lord Vivek's overseer would have a clearer head. I need to find her for Lord Vivek. She ran into the unfinished cantons. She's been beating herself up over the fact that they're behind schedule, but she won't do anyone any good if she gets herself killed. My oh. wife's tough okay. as nails, but she's no warrior. Okay, I'll find the overseer. Why is there a big thing in the sky? I feel like somebody should say something about that. Is this part of the main story? Is it? We barely got out of there alive. I can't believe the overseer is still in there. What's she going to do when the canton sinks into the bay? Is she still at the construction yes. site? The overseer ran in there when she saw the looters. We tried to follow. But then the moonlit began raining fire, ash, and chunks of rock. Last I saw, she was chasing the looters into the far canton. Okay, why would looters risk their own lives? There's a Creed giant rock a in the sky, motivator. everybody. We left tools and, and it's raining just fire. around, unprotected, when the priests ordered everyone to get off the street. I don't know why you're not panicking more. What is that thing? Is it gonna fall down? It's just reminding me of Zelda right now. Why is it down there? Ugh. Panic more, people. This is reminding me of Zelda so much, Majora's Mask. I'm half expecting. Okay, how do I get down there? How do I get down there? Obviously, there's no way here. What? There should be a thing there. That, that was dumb. And I don't blame myself for that. Stand still, you damn looter! No one steals from Lord Vivek! Another looter! You want a taste of my steel, too? No, wait. I remember you. You borrowed one of our blessing stones. Well, the arch cannon returned it after Lord Vivek was finished with it. So no need to fret about that. Uh, well, he kind of needs it again. That's impossible! We installed the blessing stone back in its canton and finished construction on that section a short time ago. Wait a moment. Does this have something to do with the chunks of rock raining down on the city? Kind of. I suppose you're in luck then. We happen to have another blessing stone. It's at the third canton. Here. This key will open the door to that portion of the construction site. Just watch out for more looters. 
Rocks falling out of the sky. Uh, your wife is worried about you, by the way. Verona? Was she still angry with me? No, you don't have to answer that. I know my wife. I'll head back and let her know I'm all right. Tell Lord Vivec he can have our blessing stone, as long as he promises to do something about Bar Dow. Who is that? All right, well, after running my ass in circles, we found that thing, so... Found our way in. Now let's... It's, oh, we get to do this maze now! Yay! Maze time. Whoa, 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 who are you? Hey! All right. the rock Black now. oh are we gonna have to just avoid like the falling rocks I have to admit this is really exciting right now We found something. Oh my, yes! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> okay, we, we found it. Okay, I feel like that's the wrong way. Go back. Oh. Woo. No, no, no. Hey, where did I go? Okay, that's it. I bet you know the way out. We gotta go back there. I like Lloyd Vivek. I don't wanna I don't want him to die. He's cool. And I like his loincloths. But uh something's gonna need to be done about that. Hey guys, I'm back. It sounds like the city is falling apart out there, so there isn't much time. Oh. Were you able to get another blessing stone? Yes. We need to restore some of Lord Vivek's energy before the moonlit falls out of the sky. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, I can feel Lord Vivek's essence inside it. Can you now? I hope I remember how to do this. You'd better stand back, just in case. Hang on, Lord Vivek. Sweet energy, like a sip of water for a thirsty man. 
Oh, thank the three. Lord Vivek looks better already. Of course, the Blessing Stone is only a temporary measure. We still need to determine what to do about Barbus and the stolen energy. I'm ready to do whatever I can. As Lord Vivek has written, the bravest heart never falters. You are truly Vivek's champion. I didn't know if the Blessing Stone was going to work, but I appreciate your help. Now go and talk to Lord Vivek. I'm sure he has a plan to share with us. Mm-hmm. Help Lacta. My time grows short. Clarity emerges. Like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago. All to set the wheels in motion to steal my divine energy. Well, he went to a lot of trouble to steal your divine energy. Every move has a purpose. Stealing my energy sowed discord and disaster throughout the land. And ultimately revealed the location of the Clockwork City. If Barbus and his master can bypass the wards and enter Sotha Seal's domain. Clockwork City, Clockwork City. I don't have that add on. Distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra. To fight a Daedra, Azura's champion, Saren, in Arch Cannon's office. Seek guidance from her patron, but hurry, my time grows short. I'll find Saren and see if Azura can help us. Jeez, that thing is still in the sky. Find Saren real quick. Yep, still there. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Mortal, Mortal, the Lady, the lady of, of Twilight, Twilight has, has words, words for, for you. you. So Vivette deigns to ask for help. I foresaw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well, for if you continue to perform flawlessly, we might yet thwart the efforts of Clavicus Vile and his hound, Barbus. Lord Vivek said to ask you for guidance in this matter. Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Barbus seeks to enter the Clockwork City. So far, so the sealed wards have impeded him, but the Hound has Sumara. You must beat him to the prize, the reservoir that holds Vivek's stolen energy. Where, where the, where is the Clockwork City located? Such knowledge has been hidden even from me, mortal. But I know someone who can provide you with the means to travel to Sotha Seal's creation. Can we go to Clockwork City? Don't, don't isn't that a DLC? Are you gotta buy? Yes. Interesting. That oh, hey! <laughs> Oblivion, am I? Mage, this, this mortal speaks, speaks with the authority of, of the mother's soul. Interesting. Summoned by a Daedric prince and her mortal mouthpiece. Mouthpiece, mortal mouthpiece. Of a crucial experiment. But I suppose I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? No, it worked just fine. Azra wants you to help me get to Clockwork City. 
No, not going to happen. No offense to the Lady of Twilight, but Sylph the Seal was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait. Pistons fall into place. This concerns Sunora and Lord Vivek, I presume. Yes, Barbus, um, Barbus tricked us into draining Lord Vivek's divine energy. Barbus, another Daedra. Thinking, thinking. So, so the seal's forgotten tools modified to steal Vivek's energy, which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Can you get me to Clockwork City like or not? What is Barbus after? Wait, gears click into place. There's a giant rock in the Your sky. Reservoir. You need to reach the reservoir that contains Vivek's stolen energy before Barbas. I can get us to the entrance in Set's vault beneath the Mournhold Temple. Ready to go? Uh, you're coming with me? I'm not ready to do this. I I need a. Sorry, not right now. Let's see. Okay, this is this is great and all, but uh, we gotta end this here. It's a really bad place to end, but it looks like there's going to be a whole lot more to do. So we're going to have to wait and do that next time. So, um, yeah, because it's, it's been like almost two hours now. So, yeah, we're going to have to pick this up next round. Um, so thank you for joining me this session, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you want to check out any of my past streams, I upload them to my YouTube channel. You can find that on my Twitch profile. And, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and night. Live long and prosper.